This is our portable e-garden. My refrigerator broke. Instead of throwing it in the dump, we decided to repurpose and recycle it. Refrigerator waste, especially in India and China, is a big concern right now. We drilled holes in the unit for air exchange. And to evaporate moisture off the perlite bags for high humidity, we mounted 20 PVC elbows for the plants on the outside, bolted the two doors together. We were very specific in drilling. Um, here we got the mushroom shelves in. The plant roots can grow into the perlite as well. Um, and we put these trays on rollers so they could come out with the plants. Here are the mushrooms. We uh, grew some reishi and some yellow oysters are doing quite well. We repurposed the condenser coil as a 16 nozzle aeroponic misting assembly. We epoxied and wire wrapped the joints. Um, the valves are anti-drip and threaded. The misting assembly is on a hinge and connects to the repurposed compressor. And This is where the water refills through a one-way float valve. Following the airline goes to our push for power setup and this is connected to uh, an air tank that fits inside the freezer. Um, we still need to reseal the compressor for full operation, so I built a life support system and uh, transferred the plants to it in the meantime. We reused the bottom shelf as an adjustable uh, trellis for the plants up top. We actually plan to bioremediate the compressor oil using the uh, oyster mushroom here. Mycologist Paul Stamets has had some awesome results doing this. We will repurpose the compressor piston to slowly recharge the air tank with a vertical axis wind turbine made from e-waste and build a reliable, low-power cycle timer to push the air button and automate the whole garden. After that, we will repaint and bug net over the holes. This is a powerful, automated unit for some serious gardening that didn't cost very much to remake for me waste. It will use about 2.5 gallons of water per day to feed 20 full-grown plants.